Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more reading the My Hero Academia manga. This is chapter 388, the unofficial translations. Uh, I'm recording this uh, around noon on Friday. Sorry I didn't get it out last night, which is surprising because that this actually released early. I think it released like in the afternoon of yesterday. And the reason I think it is, is because I have heard this is a short chapter. Um, don't know why. I don't know any details. Like, I, I'm pretty sure he's not sick or anything. I think it's just one of those, it's a short chapter deals. Um, so yeah, sorry for the delay, but I am back. These are the unofficial translations. The official ones aren't out yet. Um, yeah, uh, I expect this is going to continue with the Dobby situation or location. Um, especially the way it ended with Ray appearing. Um, which I predicted, by the way. I, I even clipped my prediction of that before it happened and put it on Twitter. Pat myself on the back on that one. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just dive on in and see what this chapter has to offer. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's a shorter one. Uh, first panel, we get Kendo, who is... Okay, cool. So Kendo's fighting against the uh, the spies. with the, Oh, there's Gunhead. Dude, it's like... Man, I want to see Gunhead actually use... Does he like? Is he called Gunhead because he fires guns out of his head, or does he just have guns like? Because we know he has martial arts. Gunhead martial arts is what he taught uh, Uraka. Anyway, I'm already rambling. Sorry, guys. Um, they've messed up the foundations of the system. Someone shouts. I'm assuming this is Gunhead talking to her. There's no use trying to start it up again amidst the chaos. Yeah. So, so whoa, whoa. That's kind of a cool detailed shot. It shows the underground bunker on the rail system it's like basically like a train and uh they have people evacuating heading to an emergency exit and there's like crumbling from the uh the top of the the cart that's kind of cool hurry prioritize old folks and children old folks and children oh they don't they didn't say uh women and children okay i don't know if they're trying to be like modern or if that's just like i don't know that's just usually that's not how it goes <laughs> um we can get to the surface from here. Oh, yo. <laughs> we got, um, wait, hold, oh, whoa. Oh, hey, well, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of, a lot of people here. Um, they got death arms carrying old people, which is really cute. All oh, the old people on his back. That's really cute. But then you got, uh, the people from the, uh, the music festival, the ones who were like laughing at class 1A, they didn't want them to succeed and stuff. They're older students. Um, the guy with the Elvis hair and the girl. And then there's some of the robots, uh, like the training robots that they had. Uh, okay, that's cool that they're like a, they're like helping out. That's sick. Um, once we get to the uh, we can get to the surface from here. Once we're above ground, the UA robots will evacuate you. As soon as you get on a robot, tell it tell it where you want to go. Oh, they're like little scooters or something, little transportation. That's cool. Um, hold on tight. It's raining like crazy. Okay, well, they're, whoa. Yeah, they're actually, like, going to the surface. And there's, there's actually some damage to, like, the where they're approaching because there's, like, a wall half destroyed and stuff. The storm is raging outside from, obviously, all the battles we've been seeing. By the way, this is black paneling, so that means this is in the past, technically. Usually it's reserved for flashbacks. Don't worry. There's more than enough robots for everyone. Please, don't look back. Don't look into Dobby's direction. <laughs> and then the five weenies kid and like a few, a few of the other little kids are looking back. Holy shit. Whoa. What? That's okay. So there's a giant, it's almost like like the sun in the, in the distance. He didn't blow up or anything, did he? Like, cause that looks like it's already like, a giant sphere, unless that's just representing the heat. But I mean, it looks very solid kind of, um, chapter three eighty eight. Toya. Oh shit. All right. What you cooking, Hori? What you cooking here? Get away from here as fast as you can. And see, not, not see you and the other siblings or just, I guess it's just, uh, um, what's the, what's the, uh, uh, fam uh, I can't, I can't remember her name right now. Fumui? I, I, I think I pronounced it wrong. Um, but it had Natsu, and then you have Rei. Rei looking awesome, by the way. Every panel of Rei, she just looks so, like, angelic. Um, she's looking off into the rain. 
uh, even close up of her eye. We're just a really pretty character. Um, welcome aboard. <laughs> I'll, I'll, let, me, let me give him a best robot. Welcome aboard. As he jumps on a, a nearby robot who's carrying, is like a carriage? Pretty thick robot. Uh, Mom, the two siblings that say, Natsu-kun, take care of your big sister. Whoa. Please, take me to the center of that. <laughs> the robot doesn't say anything at first. I imagine you just like, what? Um, we were designed to fulfill human desires. <laughs> the robot gives a thumbs up. That's a very detailed robot, by the way. This is a, this is a really good shot of a robot. Like the hand, Horikoshi loves his hands. So I'm, I'm kind of not surprised by this. But this robot hand looks so detailed. I approve. That is sick. And uh, cutting to the present, uh, something is melting. Is that the robot that she went on there on? It's like melting. Oh, it's kind of sad. Uh, oh, it's his thumbs up. His thumb. Dude, he's doing the Terminator thing. <laughs> but you know, that you guys know Terminator when he's melting the lava and he gives a thumbs up as he like melts. That's basically what the robot. That's such a, I hope that's a nod to Terminator. That's so sick. Um, RIP robot. You helped out. Um, back to, okay, so we're in the present now. Oh my God. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, two things. Uh, the thing I said, oh my God about is, is Ray. Who I presume is starting to get burnt up here. And I, I, oh gosh. <clears throat> but on the, that's on the left panel, the right panel, you get a better shot of the robot. giving the thumbs up, which is kind of cool. But, uh, whoa, Toya, she shouts as again, it's just extreme heat. Oh my God. All right. Do I have any predictions before we get into the nitty gritty of this? I, I will be so mad. I don't think Ray will die. She's, she hasn't really had any death flags. It could happen. I still think it's way more likely that Endeavor dies. I think it's extremely likely, likely that Toya dies, but if it's titled Toya, maybe, maybe they'll, maybe they'll save him. I don't know. Toya, she shouts, what are you? Oh, what are you? Oh, Endeavor. This is Endeavor who's still hugging uh, Toya. Dude, the, the heat. Can you imagine just the, the raw heat of this? Like, it's like hell on earth, probably. Holy shit. Dobby just has no skin left on his face. It's just teeth. No eyeballs. How was his hair still here? Forget steel. Forget diamond. Dobby's hair is the most durable thing on the planet. Holy crap. I like how his skin and everything else goes away first, but his hair, totally fine. Damn. Is Ray trying to cool him off? She managed to get this close by shielding herself with ice. He thinks to himself. Do the paneling, by the way, on all the, the pictures, it's very crumbly. It's like a, it's like an old letter almost. Oh my God, Endeavor is even like... His skin is kind of starting to burn here. Holy shit. It won't work. Get away from here. You'll just burn to death. Endeavor has heat tolerance. So if he's burning up, holy shit. Yo. The same goes for you and Toya, right? She says, oh my gosh, dude. Okay. All right. This is, this is kind of crazy. Dude, Endeavor, like, his skin is, like, burning off. It's not as bad as Toya yet, but, like, that, you can tell the outer layer of his skin is just char charred. And Ray coming in here, she's starting to burn, too. Mm. Mom, says Toya. Oh, my gosh. Toya, she says. Whoa, there's a crack forming on freaking Toya. Oh, my. Is this? Is this? The Todoroki plotline that we're literally about to end, like this or next chapter. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, she says, as she's like trying to create ice. You could tell, but like it's just immediately evaporating. Oh my god. Natsu kun Fuyumi chan says Dobby. Yo. So Fuyumi was in. I think I had it right. I think I was close. Um, oh, they're here too. What? Wait, who's doing the ice? Who's doing the ice? Is it Fuyumi? I think it has to be, right? She probably just has like lesser ice than her mom. 
Yeah, because they, they made like an ice barrier for them. Dude, the whole... Th- I mean, I don't get me wrong. I kind of expected the whole Todoroki family to be involved, but I didn't expect immediately just boom, they were here. Whoa. I guess they're against the clock, so there's only so much... Oh, man. By the way, uh, Dobby, like... I, I'm sure this is intentional, but, like, it looks like he's, like, decapitated from the jaw here. Like, because there's no, like, nothing connecting the top half to the to the lower jaw. Oh, my God. I... This animated, I... The bar is so high. Like, they can't hold back. You can't not make it gruesome. This is a, a literally walking skeleton corpse who's burnt. Like, please go all out. Like, don't censor this. Make it as gritty and real. Like, make the skin look like it's actually peeling off these characters. Because this is actually horrific. Get away, says Ray. She turns around. I can't stand it. Don't leave us again, she says. Toya, Toya Ni, please, don't take them away. I don't want to lose anyone else. And it looks like she's, yeah, she's making ice. Wow. So, I think, was Natsu the only... Do we know if Natsu didn't have a, a quirk? Or if it was just very, very, like, weak quirk? I don't know. Uh, please don't take them away. I don't want to lose anyone else. And then uh, and then Natsu was thinking about when they were kids. And they would stay up late talking and stuff. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Don't cause any more trouble, stupid big bro. <laughs> Yo, dude, we're getting we're getting a culmination of the Todoroki plotline, ladies and gentlemen. This is sick. If I use my flames to fly away, Toya's body will. Endeavor is thinking to himself. Wow. They're still in, in locked in this, this hug, by the way. I'm begging you. Let me be the only one you kill. Oh my gosh. Ha ha. Ha ha. Salvi just starts to laugh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I got chills. Reunited with his mother and sibling, what lies beyond his gaze? Whoa! Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Reunited with his... So being with his family, uh, what lies beyond his gaze? So he's imagining... Dude! He's imagining, like, them all together as a family, and obviously everyone's totally fine. I mean, not totally fine. I should clarify. They're all together. Endeavor has his arm on his shoulder. Toya it looks not. It looks normal. He doesn't have any stitches, although he's missing his right arm, uh, which is what he's missing in real life right now, so I'm not sure. Like, Is this just imagining a different path that could have been, like... If you be, did become a hero, that's crazy that he'd still imagine himself like losing an arm. Uh, we can't see Endeavor's lost arm in this, but it could just be behind him. Endeavor still has a scar. He's in uniform. And you see the Natsu Fum- Fumui. Uh, uh, I keep saying her name wrong. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Fuyumi. Yeah, it's Fuyumi. And then you see Ray, and they're all just like smiling like a family. That's the end of the chapter. This was a shorter chapter. Man, oh, that gave me chills seeing that, like, them all happy. So, is that, is that, is it just me, or is that hinting that, like, even Toya, who always talks like he doesn't give a shit about anything, has a small kindling left of, like, wishing things were different, or just, like, wanting to be, like, reunited as a family. I don't know. It's really hard to say. The, my issue is, like, I, I just looking at him, I don't see any logical way he would survive. Like, yeah, I know, Bakugo got ass-pulled by having his heart restored and stuff. But, like, Dobby is literally disintegrating. Like, my, okay, here's my guess. Here, here's Here's my guess, okay? I think that they managed to cool him off in that, like, they talked to him and, like, I don't know, like, 
some and in, in some really somber moment he just decides not to kill him but he dies anyway and it's just a really like sad moment like the core the energy that's building up inside of him it doesn't erupt like a giant explosion and hurt all the people innocent people nearby and stuff it doesn't kill the family but like the fire just goes out and it'd be symbolic because that's the only thing keeping him going are these flames of vengeance this hatred it's like any normal person should be dead at this point but they mentioned like a while ago that like the that's what's keeping him going is this just just burning hatred desire he's gone beyond Um, the normal limits of a person. Um, And I imagine that the family being here, finally being here for him and to help him, to hear him, like, I think that's huge. And I don't know if Dobby's really in the right state of mind right now. He's barely able to say words and things. But I just think, I don't know. My prediction is, they cool him off, and I don't think we get, like, a large speech or anything from Dobby. I think he's past that point. But it's just a very somber, melancholy, just, like, the flame goes out. No one gets, no one else gets hurt, and he passes away with his family there. Like, disintegrates into ashes or something. That's my prediction. But... Real visually, oh my god! It was only uh, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like it was only. I think did I count that right? Eleven or twelve? Eleven or twelve pages? So yeah, it was definitely shorter. Um. Visually, so good though. Horkov is still on point. All right, sorry for getting this out later than uh, should have been, but uh, hope you guys enjoy my reaction all the same. Really good chapter. Uh, I don't think there's a break next week either. I, that much I did here. I don't think there's a break next week. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Did you like this chapter? How do you think this is going to wrap up? Uh, I presume we're only going to get another chapter or two. Uh, and then the Todoroki plotline will be wrapped up. For the most part. I mean, barring any um, consequences of this. But I think that this is kind of it. That We're, uh, we're at the climax. Uh in, in my opinion, I think that this has been arguably the best written story element of My Hero Academia is the, the Todoroki family. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love the all for, all for one versus one for all plot. And Bakugo's rede- like rise is a redemption of a character from the beginning until now. It's a fantastic. But I think the Todoroki plot line, the whole family, Endeavor, the abuse, uh, Todoroki's, uh, Shoto's angle, all of it is just like the best written overall. Um, and it's kind of sad, but also really cool to see it coming to an end. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy it and, uh, yeah, leave your thoughts down below until next time. It's been mighty gazelle helping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.